Okay, so today we're going to create a simple map within Illustrator. Uh, let's create a document. A uh, thousand by a thousand pixels should be fine. And I think the first thing I want to do is create a base layer. I'm going to call it base and give it a color background. Something like that. And we'll lock that. Create a new layer. We'll call this main road. Uh, black and we will let's let's draw a roundabout Something like that. And maybe a couple of roads <clears throat> coming off it. One road there. Another there, and maybe a third. Like that. Okay. Uh, let's group these items together. Create an another layer. Let's call this main road white. <clears throat> Copy the roads and roundabout, paste it in place on the new layer. Like that. Uh, switch this one to white and just reduce the stroke. Reduce the weight of the stroke to Something like that. I think that's okay. Um, I think what I'll do actually is just increase the stroke on all of these. Um, let's bring that up. Say, so, oops. <clears throat> okay, um, let's lock that, let's create a fourth layer, we'll just call this road black, and let's draw some roads coming off the main road, so we'll do one here. Let's have another one coming off here, perhaps running vertically, and another coming off here, not too close to the junction. Okay, 
and let's group these together, copy them, create another layer. We'll call this road white. And paste them in place. Switch them to white and then let's just drop them like so. Okay, uh, I might just bring this in a little bit. Same here. Okay, and we will just drop this like that. <clears throat> okay, so we have our roundabout, our main roads, and the smaller roads running off them. Now I'm going to create a, another layer. Called road name, main road name, or main road names. And here we will We will um, select main road white strokes and copy them, paste them in place onto our new main road names layer. Okay, ungroup that. Let's choose a different font, something simple. and use baseline shift just to position the word better within the road and I might just bring that back could use a bit of tracking just to space it out Okay, and uh, let's copy that and <clears throat> paste it. And let's just flip that. Okay, and then once more, there we go, okay, now these smaller roads we want to do the same thing, so let's copy those onto a new layer, road names. Okay, and then on there we will oops, type in our names. Let's introduce this one. Again, adjust the uh, baseline shift. And 
around here. Like that. Um, so that's the basic idea on how to create roads on a map. So from here you could add in other elements. For example, let's put in a let's put in a um, <clears throat> a rail line. Railway line and use the pen tool. Okay. Let's bump that up. Dashed line, something like that. That gives the impression of a, a rail line running up there. Uh, what else? What about a pond? Let's draw a duck pond here. Whoops, I've got the same stroke applied as the railway line. I'll have to change that. Okay, let's... And we will label the pond Dock Pond. Something like that. Maybe put that back in. Uh, let's put it back in uh, caps. Okay, we've got a pond there as well. And then you could also, let's create, create another layer. Um, buildings or houses and let's draw another shape I'm doing this obviously very roughly and quickly we'd spend much more time on all of these elements normally Okay, so that gives you a basic idea on how to create uh, maps within Illustrator. Um, I hope it's been helpful.